Hi, welcome. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. My name is Emily and I make things. Today is perhaps the easiest tutorial um, or rather the easiest thing that I have ever crocheted and that is a mesh like beach cover-up swimsuit thing. I have been seeing these all over the internet. I think they are so cute and super trendy um, at the moment. So yeah, I just thought I would share with you guys how I made mine. I'm like trying not to rush, but <laughs> I know I always make intros too long. So super quickly, I just wanted to say that I did use 100% acrylic yarn. I'll show you which one in a moment because it was recommended to me for absorbing the least amount of water. And I do plan on wearing this like to the beach. Um, not with the intentions to dry me off by any means, but I just wanted something that was more likely to not absorb and retain water, so that's why I went with acrylic. And you literally only need to know three stitches, and the last one is optional. 95% of this skirt is made using just slip stitches, um, and then I do use a single crochet for one part briefly, and I used a half double crochet at the bottom, but literally 95% of this is the slip stitch. So if you're a beginner, you can 100% make this skirt. I won't necessarily teach how to do those things in the video, but I will leave my favorite one minute or less tutorials in the description box down below. So with all that being said, grab your little crochet hooks and let's just hop into the tutorial. I am using the impeccable yarn by Loops and Threads. It's 100% acrylic. And first things first, we're gonna start off the waistband. So I am gonna do my skirt in black, but for the demo, I'm actually gonna show it in just a small skein of like brown so that you could see it easier because I realized you can't see anything with the black. So you want to start by just making a slip stitch. I'm using a five millimeter hook for the whole project. And I want the width of my waistband to be 10 stitches long. So I'm going to chain 11, 10 plus one turning chain. So this is 10, this is the length I want it to be. And then my 11 is to turn. Turn your work and go into the second stitch, this one right here. And I want to do the smallest, skinniest form of ribbing. So I'm just going to slip stitch all the way down the row, 10 stitches. Okay, so I've slip stitched into 10 stitches. Now I'm going to chain one to turn, turn my work. And now I'm gonna slip stitch, but only into the back loops all the way across. So instead of both loops, I'm going to slip stitch back loop only. Okay, at the end of the row, I'm gonna chain one again, turn, and continue doing back loop only slip stitches. So I'm gonna continue doing back loop only slip stitches back and forth, back and forth, until this wraps all the way around the part of my waist that sits right above the belly button. And again, I'm gonna be doing it in black in my impeccable by loops and threads, but you're gonna get a nice close ribbing 
if you do slip stitch only if you want the ribbing spread apart a little bit you can do one row slip stitches one row single crochet but always always back loop but I am doing slip stitches only to get this look and I'm gonna do the whole band off camera and then I'll come back I have made my band the length um, around my waist about like at my belly button because that's where I want it to sit and that's stretched because I want it to sit stretched nice little ribbing so I want the side with this tail to be the top I have a little sample on the light yarn because it's just a lot easier to see so imagine this is where we ended the seam now I'm gonna go through and do a baseline of single crochet so you don't want to only put the single crochets in between the bars because then you're going to end up with a much smaller hoop for the skirt and you want it to be able to fit around your body so I'm going to chain one and put a single crochet through between the ribbing but then I'm also going to force a single crochet into the ribbing. And then even between the ribbing, I would recommend picking up two strands of yarn because your whole skirt is going to hang off of this row of single crochet. So the more support, the better. And then again into the ribbing. And then between the ribbing, but picking up two bars. And this is what it will look like and again that's so you have enough stitches when it's stretched because if you measure it to sit on your waist while stretched then you're gonna need that many stitches across and then you're gonna do that all the way around I have gone and put a row of single crochet all across the bottom of my waistband all the way to the little end there lovely let me take my hook out and pop back to the sample and basically this part is the whole rest of the project until seaming so I just wanted to say that you might be thinking well why don't I connect and then just work in the round and I tried this skirt that way and I didn't like the way it shaped kind of like a circle skirt and I want it straight like a pencil skirt so um, I'm gonna make the whole skirt flat and then seam it in the back and then add a base at the bottom so those are gonna be the next few steps but now we're just gonna go over the meshing so depending on how many chains you do and how far you separate it will change the look of the mesh um, in size obviously um, but for the width that I wanted, which is this look, I did a pattern of seven and four. And what I mean by that is I chain seven. And I skip four single crochets. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to go into here and into that fourth single crochet, I'm just going to slip stitch to join. And that gives me a loop. And I'm going to continue that pattern. One, oops, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, skip four, one, two, three, four, 
slip stitch to join. Just like that. So I do seven and four. Now, if your maths isn't perfect and you get to the end of your ribbing and there are two, it's really not a big deal in my opinion. Some perfectionists might scream but this happened on mine actually and i just slip stitch twice and then i continued my pattern and i didn't really think it made that much of a difference but again you can also just do maths and count how many single crochets you had and divide it into an even amount of skip spaces but you want your loops to sit about this this high so if you're going to do more spaces add a chain or two if you're going to do less spaces i would get rid of some chains but again i'm going to be doing seven and four in the whole tutorial so i know black is literally awful for tutorials but look at it anyway <laughs> So this is what my meshing is looking like after just a few rows. When you get to the end, you're just going to chain the same amount again, so seven, three, four, five, six, seven. Turn your work. And now, instead of slip stitching into any of the chains or single crocheting or whatever, none of that, you simply just go as close to the middle as you can eyeball it to the loop that you made before and slip stitch to join and chain off of that seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then just slip stitching into the loop made in the previous row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Slip stitching. And that's literally it. And you can move these to try to make them more centered because that'll make a more even mesh. Personally, I don't care that much. I care like a little. I mildly care. And then that'll give you just a plain mesh stitch. And I don't know, I've seen people work these skirts in the round, but I think it's a little more complicated to make sure it's even. So I wanted this to be the easiest version possible, which is why I'm doing it flat. So I'm going to keep going until my desired length, and I think I want to do like a maxi skirt. So I got quite a bit of work to do, so I'm going to keep going literally back and forth with that pattern. And then I will meet you when I'm at my length, and we will seam up the sides together. Okay guys, it has been quite a few days. This took me much longer than I anticipated, but mostly because my attention span just wasn't working last week. But al alas, here we are. So I realized I am running out of yarn and I only bought two skeins. And where it lands right now is actually right above my knee, kind of like a midi skirt, I guess. And if that's the case, then it would take probably two more skeins to hit my ankles. And I'd rather have it stop right above my knees than finish the skein and it ends mid calf because that's just really an unflattering length on me. It makes my calves look kind of weird. So I'm going to stop here, but just letting you know, I did not go all the way to my ankles. And now I'm going to seam up the side, and then we're going to add a border to the bottom. So let's seam first. Okay, so to finish the row before seaming, I just slipped to join, and then chained one. 
And I'm gonna seam by using single crochets. So first make sure you're on the wrong side. So right side's touching. So I'm deciding this is my wrong side because um, it dips a little bit and I just like the way it looks better from the other side. It looks a little more clean. So to seam up the sides, I'm gonna insert my hook between the two loops at the end here. Pull up a loop and single crochet. And I'm gonna do that twice per loop. So now I'm gonna go into the next two loops and single crochet once, single crochet twice. And again, single crochet once, single crochet twice. And on the inside, it will just look like that, a nice little seam. So I'm gonna continue going all the way up the row, single crocheting into each pairing of the loops. And when I get to the end, I'm just gonna single crochet through both pairs of loops, the whole stitch up the waistband. So I'm gonna go ahead and seam that up and I'll meet you when I'm done. Okay, so we are all seamed up at the sides. It's looking nice, looking good. So I chained one at the end and I'm gonna cut that and pull through. And I'm gonna weave that in at the very end. Put it off as long as humanly possible. <laughs> and now I'm gonna inside out it. Okay, so that's what our seam looks like. You can like kind of see it. Okay, so now along the bottom, I actually want to add um, I think like one or two rows of a double crochet. Um, just because that's the look I want, you could very easily leave it like this, but I'm not going to. So I'm going to start where the seam is. I'm going to make a slip knot, put my hook through, and a slip stitch on. And I'm actually going to do a round of single crochets the exact same way I just did the seam by placing three single crochets into each stitch all the way around. So not exactly the same as the seam. I'm adding one more. One, two, three. Just like that, all the way around, and then when I get back to the start, I'll catch back up with you. Okay, so I have made it back to the start. I literally did not start at the seam. I'm like delusional for some reason, um, which I regret, but whatever. So I'm just gonna slip stitch into this first stitch where I started. Okay, and then I'm gonna cheat because honestly, I'm just trying to wrap this up. But the correct thing to do, I believe, would be to chain one, turn, and work the opposite way. But I'm just gonna keep going forward because I'm lazy. And I'm just gonna do a round of half double crochet. So yarn over, into the stitch, pull up a loop, pull through all three. And I'm just gonna do that now all the way around this chain that I made. I'm like not paying attention. So I'm gonna do that all the way around just once and then tie off and I will be done. Okay, so see that looks so much nicer in my opinion just to end it with a little border, tie the whole thing together. 
I'm very upset I didn't align the seams. Um, so I'm actually going to slip stitch a couple times. There. Just because I think that hides the seam a little more. And then I'm going to chain one. Pull super tight. And that is literally it, guys. That was by far the easiest thing I've ever made in my life. Time consuming, maybe. Not if you're fast and have a good attention span, though. And 95% of this was just done by slip stitching. Literally from the ribbing all the way down to the very end is just slip stitching. So voila that is it let's take a look at the final product and that is literally it guys thank you so much for watching if you make this skirt please tag me on Instagram if you are gonna post a picture in it. You don't have to. Let me know in the comments below if you make it. If you have any questions, just hit a girl up. I always answer. And thank you so much to my subscribers for the continual support. And that's it guys, I'll see you next time. Bye. Stop talking, all right. Just stop talking to me, okay?